Let's learn about South America. South America is the fourth biggest of Earth's seven continents, which means it's also the fourth smallest. By size, it's the continent right in the middle, but it's number one in biodiversity, the number of different plants, animals, funguses, and microbes that live there. South America has the Earth's biggest tropical rainforest, the Amazon. The Amazon River that runs through it is the world's biggest river by water volume. Every year during the rainy season, the Amazon River floods the low parts of the rainforest. All that water helps the trees grow very big and very fast, which is why it's called a rainforest. All those trees and other plants provide plenty of food for different kinds of animals and funguses, which is why the rainforest has so much biodiversity. One in 10 known species in the world lives in the Amazon and new ones are still being discovered. A lot of undiscovered species live on flat-topped sandstone mountains called tepuis. Ecosystems on top of tepuis have been cut off from the forest floor and from each other for millions of years. A lot of the plants and animals that live on them are endemic, which means they don't live anywhere else in the world. The world's tallest waterfall flows from the top of a tepui. This is Angel Falls in Venezuela. It's 2,648 feet tall. That's water in a free fall for half a mile. Many of the unique animals in the rainforest are invertebrates, worms, arachnids, and insects like this glass-winged butterfly. There's also a rich diversity of amphibians like colorful poison dart frogs. This may look like a worm, but it's actually another kind of tropical amphibian called a Sicilian. They're legless amphibians that live in water or burrow in the ground. There are also bigger animals in the rainforest. There are many kinds of monkeys, from large howler monkeys to tiny pygmy marmosets, the world's smallest monkey. One-fifth of the world's known bird species live in the Amazon. The strangest one might be the Watson, the Watson isn't closely related to any other kind of bird. It eats mostly leaves, whereas most birds eat seeds, fruits, insects, and other meat, which are easier to digest. The Watson's diet makes it smelly, which gives it the nickname skunk bird and stink bird. But the weirdest thing about the Watson is that before they learn how to fly, Watson chicks climb trees using claws on their wings. The largest predator outside the water in the Amazon is the jaguar, a shy, rare, nocturnal cat that humans almost never see. In the water, there are alligator cousins called caimans, huge predatory fish, and anacondas, the world's biggest living snake. South America was also home to the biggest known snake ever, the titanoboa. They could grow up to 42 feet long. They lived around 60 million years ago, a few million years after the dinosaurs. Speaking of dinosaurs, the biggest dinosaur bones have been found in South America, in a cold, dry region called Patagonia. These dinosaurs were long-necked plant-eating sauropods, like Patagotitan, Dreadnoughtus, and Argentinosaurus. There's some argument over which one was the biggest, but basically they were all huge. Based on what archaeologists have been able to find, people got to South America by 18,000 years ago. It was the last continent humans moved to, if we don't count Antarctica. The earliest cities in the Americas that archaeologists have found are on the dry western coast of South America, in the country of Peru. The Norte Chico and Sechin Bajo civilizations were building cities here at least 5,500 years ago. That's older than the pyramids in Egypt. Those are the oldest cities in South America that we've found, but there might have been even older cities that we can't find. The oldest pottery in the Americas has been found in the Amazon rainforest. Pottery is a material used to make storage containers and art. It's hard to make, very breakable and very heavy, so people usually don't make pottery unless they have permanent towns or cities to live in. Broken pieces of pottery called potsherds have been found in the Amazon that are at least 7,000 years old. The thing is, 
Unlike ancient cities in the deserts and the mountains, where there were more rocks than trees to build with, cities in the rainforest would have been made almost entirely of wood. And wood doesn't last long in the rainforest. It's eaten really quickly by termites and funguses. So the only clues we have that there used to be advanced civilizations in the Amazon are those potsherds, mounds made of dirt and shells that raised cities and towns above the level of the floodwater, and a kind of dirt called terra preta that people made by mixing charcoal with potsherds and animal bones. For a long time, archaeologists didn't think a lot of people could live in the Amazon because all the rain washes nutrients from the dirt, so people wouldn't be able to grow enough food crops to live there for long. But terra preta is so good at holding on to the nutrients that it's still fertile hundreds of years after being made. The ancient people of South America were very good at adapting their environments to help them survive. In the Nazca Desert of Peru, for example, they not only made huge pictures of shapes, people, and animals on the ground, they also made underground canals to bring water to their towns and fields. They built spiral holes called puquios to channel wind into the canals to move the water where they needed it. In the high, rugged Andes Mountains, Ancient people built an enormous network of roads, using rope suspension bridges to go over rivers and canyons. They also kept meticulous records using kipu, ropes with knots of different shapes and colors. No one knows exactly how much information they held, but kipu were complex enough that they may have been a full-fledged writing system that used knots on ropes instead of letters on paper. Ancient South American farmers grew food crops on steep mountainsides by making terraced fields. They carefully bred crops to survive harsh conditions and for size, nutrition, and taste. They created some of the most popular foods in the world today, including peanuts, chocolate, which scientists recently discovered originally came from the Amazon, and potatoes. Potatoes were first grown for food in the Andes Mountains sometime between 7,000 and 10,000 years ago. There are now over 5,000 varieties of potato. So if you like any of those foods, you can thank the agricultural scientists of ancient South America.